Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to share an empties video. It has been long since I have done an empties video and I have quite a lot of stuff to show you guys. So without further ado, let's get started with today's video. So I'm going to go in a very random order, whatever comes to my hand first. So the first thing is this Lux Soft Touch Floral Beauty Oil Moisturizing Body Wash. So the Lux Body Washes are so affordable yet it smells so nice. Now I know Lux Body Washes are a favorite of many people and I know the reason why. Unlike the Body Shop Shard Gels, this one stays on your body for a much longer period of time. Body Shop does have a lot of variety and it smells really nice as well but the problem with that is it doesn't linger that long while well, this one stays on your body so if you want some charges with a really nice smelling and stays on your body you should give Lux a shot i preferably like the violet bottle much more because that smells heavenly so if you want that please check that out the next two things are face washes the first face wash is this Mama Charcoal Face Wash. This face wash is really nice. It, it cleans your face very well and yet it doesn't uh, remove the natural oil from your face. And it gives your face a nice glow as well. Now I already have a backup of this in the tea tree period but this one particularly I really liked it. And the second face wash is the Wow Anti Acne Face Wash. Now I bought this face wash when I was suffering from acne issues. To be honest, it did not help with my acne. My acne did come even after using this face wash. But it uh, really cleaned my face well and uh, nothing else. Now this has some really good ingredients like tea tree essential oil, neem leaf, mulberry and licorice extract. But uh, I don't think it works on your acne or blackheads. It also claims to lighten your acne scars and spots which I don't think works. There are much better face washes in the market than this. So you can skip this one. This one is an apple cider vinegar. Now I use apple cider vinegar to mix in with my face mask. I use it as an ACV rinse for my hair after shampooing. I really like this apple cider vinegar. It's from Apple Pharmacy. Next is this Sipply Extella Moisturizer for Oily and Acne Prone Skin. Now this moisturizer really helped with my acne and uh, pimple issue. When I was suffering from acne, I used to get a lot of blackheads and whiteheads as well. And this uh, moisturizer really helped with that. Now it simply moisturizes your skin. It doesn't have too many ingredients. Now it has niacinamide but I don't really know exactly whether it works on your acne scars and spots. But as far as moisturizing is concerned, it really does its job. It is slightly on the pricier side. It retails for 400, 500, uh, it retails for 468 rupees. Now it is kind of expensive for such a small bottle, but uh, this product really works and basically it's a clinically tested product and it's recommended by doctors. If you are suffering from acne or um, uh, your skin is really congested, that I would really urge you to try this moisturizer. Now next is again a moisturizer. It's the simple protecting light moisturizer. Now anybody who is following me from a very long time knows that I absolutely love this moisturizer. It's my holy grail moisturizer. I till now haven't found a moisturizer better than this one. Of course this moisturizer is great but, but I will always go back to this moisturizer. It does not have any active ingredients it basically moisturizes your skin that's it it's so lightweight the texture the uh, glue it gives to your face and it's really really nice again if you're having acne issue congested skin white heads black it's anything any skin type can use this moisturizer it comes in another variant for dry skin you can check that out if you have really dry skin but uh, my favorite is this fairy the light variant it's so light on your skin gets absorbed really nicely if you're looking for a moisturizer you should definitely definitely try this one out and it is for uh 300 something it's uh, affordable it works really nicely next is again a face wash i have used up a lot of face washes because i use it on a daily basis twice in a day so this is the one is the himalaya neem face wash now i have done a video where i try and test this face wash for seven days consistently and that video has crossed like 13 k views i'm really glad for that amount of love on that video uh, and as i have said in that video this face wash does not help with your pimple does not reduce your pimple it's just the 
nice face wash you can use it if you don't have any skin issue just to clean your face that's the basic job of a face wash and nothing else nothing fancy as such it's a plain simple face wash that's it this one is the last face wash empties that I have. It's the Cipla Salicylic Acid Foaming Face Wash. Now again, now again because I was suffering from acne issue, I uh, tried and tested a lot of face washes. And from all of the face washes that I have tried, this face wash is the only one that worked on my acne. So it helps with uh, reducing your acne, it dries out the acne because of that 1% salicylic acid that is present in it. And it really helped with my acne, uh, it controlled my acne, the oils on my face. It is a really good face wash, especially for if you are suffering from acne issue. Now it is kind of expensive and the quantity is really small as well. But at the end of the day, if it works, it's all that matters. And this face wash really, really worked on my skin. If you are one who is suffering from acne and none of the face washes that you try are working onto your skin, you can definitely give this a shot. Now uh, they have another BDA, the DA salicylic acid face wash that has 2% salicylic acid in it. But I won't recommend you to start uh, with that one because uh, that uh, face wash is for extreme acne prone skin. And if you have uh, uh, acne problem from a very long time, then you should try that face wash but if you are a beginner start with the 1% salicylic acid face wash and if your acne keeps on coming back you can shift gradually to 2% but because my skin took the 1% salicylic acid well and my acne has uh, consistently reduced I am not going to upgrade my face wash to 2% I am uh, still continuing to use this face wash. Now this is a hair mask, this is the Beauty Co. Absolute Vinegar Hair Mask. It's my least favorite product out of everything I show you in today's video. Basic job of a hair mask is to moisturize your hair, make it smooth, silky, shiny. It did nothing to my hair and in turn it made my hair rough. Now my hair is not very rough. It's kind of uh, a normal hair type but this face uh, hair mask made my hair rough and it did not work on my hair whatsoever it retailed for 600 rupees but thank god i bought it while a uh, sale was going on i got it for 300 rupees but still 300 is a large amount and this product absolutely did not work but however i used this product up i'm not going to recommend it to anyone out there and i'm never going to buy it again it's a really really horrible hair mask now this is aroma magic under eye gel now they have a cream variant as well this basically hydrates your eyes it doesn't moisturize your eyes as such now if you have normal eyes or if you want something that uh, would hydrate your eyes under makeup you can definitely try this one out it's a very light wet gel consistency and if you have dry eyes it won't work for you but uh, for daily usage or if you want just to hydrate your eyes with something you can give this a shot but other than that it's not going to work for you this is an acne product it's the sebo gel it has salicylic acid and nicotinamide gel now what it does is you need a very tiny amount you apply it on your pimples or acne like spot treatment and within uh, one or two days it dries that, them out completely and that area peels out it works i won't apply it definitely works but after you use this particular product that area becomes really dry and because it starts peeling your skin becomes very sensitive and if you have acne all over your face it's not possible to use this product because it's going to peel your entire face and your entire face will become sensitive um, but if you have one or two pimples occurring um, once in a while or one or two acne you can definitely try this one out it's really affordable as well and it works but other than that i won't recommend if you have really severe acne issue this is a mama Earth skin face serum with niacinamide and ginger extract for acne marks and scars now i have checked the review for this one out on youtube and i don't know what is the issue with many youtubers they bash mama heart um without any reason i use a lot of products from mama Earth, their shampoo their face washes serum and other products as well 
Now I am being completely honest. Mama product works for me. Same for Wow. Their their products work for me perfectly fine. I did not face any issue or side effect as such on my face or body still now. And this particular face serum really worked on my acne scars and spots. Um, I have seen on YouTube that people say uh, that this product did not stand on its claims and they, it gave people side effects, uh, pimples or allergic reactions. But for me, this product really worked. Now this has niacinamide which primarily helps with your acne scars and spots and I have no complaints with it. It really worked on my skin. I have used it consistently for um, a good period of time and I have seen genuine results of it and this video isn't sponsored by any of the brands that I show in today's video. Now if you are suffering from acne scars and marks and you want something that will work on them genuinely, it can give it a shot. It retails for 500 rupees I guess, yes 599 rupees but uh, look out for discounts and get it, get your hands on it at a much cheaper date. Try it out if it works for you, good eat and uh, let me know whether it works for you or not. But for me, it really did work. This is a face mask from L'Oreal Paris. It's their pure clay alkyl pure mask. This mask really worked on my skin. Now, they have three variants. I've tried all of the three variants. L'Oreal face mask are uh, really nice. They improve your skin texture. They give your skin a really nice glow. It leaves your face feeling so smooth and supple and uh, even toned. And I really like L'Oreal face mask. They are kind of on a higher side of price. They are kind of expensive. But if you can get your hands on them at an offer, you should definitely check them out. All of the three face masks are really good and it definitely works on your skin. So if you can get your hands on it, please do try them out. These are really good face masks available in the market. Now this one was an oily part. I used it on my hair to do my hair oily. It pretty much worked as an ordinary hair oil. And yes, it's a pretty normal and ordinary olive oil. I don't have much to say about it. <laughs> and this is the Himalayan Revitalizing Night Cream. Now this Himalaya Range, the glass bottle range, I don't know whether it has any name or not. But this range is really good. I have talked about the oil-free moisturizer from this range. That one was a really good moisturizer. This night cream as well was so, so nice. The texture of it, it was so lightweight, got absorbed to my skin. Left my skin feeling so soft, supple and even toned. I really like this range from Himalaya. The packaging, as you can see, it's so luxurious. And it's so sturdy as well and it's not very uh, expensive. It's really affordable. I think it um, would retail for 200 or something. And it was so nice. You should definitely try this range from Himalaya. Uh, they have some amazing products. Now this is the second last thing. Uh, this is the Good Vibes Wine Skin Purifying Scrub. I don't think anything is left in it. I have used it completely. Now this was a very good face scrub basically there is a rumor that uh, physical scrubs um, get you micro tears onto your face and you shouldn't use physical scrubs but the beads in this one was really spherical and even in shape and it was really gentle it looked so delicious it smelled really nice it after you're done using this face scrub it left my skin Skin, so glowy as if I was wearing a moisturizer it was so nice I have tried a lot of things from good vibes but I have to say their lip scrubs and their face scrubs are a must try option I also have a lip scrub empties from good vibes it's a lychee lip scrub again both the scrubs are really good on their own it does the job really well it leaves your skin lips feeling so moisturized and uh, soft. Uh, if you are one who likes using physical scrubs and even after this micro tear uh, rumor or trend that is going on, you want to stick to your physical scrub but don't know which one to pick and choose, you should definitely try the scrubs from Good Vibes. They are really nice as well. I promise you that.
So with that, we are done with today's video. I hope you guys liked today's video. Now I did not have a lot of stuff to show you guys, but if there are some things that I will repurchase, that will be the simple moisturizer, definitely a really good moisturizer. Uh, the Sipla face wash. I'm currently using it. I have two three backups of it already. Uh, the Sipla moisturizer as well. And I'll purchase the Mamad Skin Serum. Now, these four products I really love. And I will repurchase and that uh, clears out the fact that I love this uh, product so much that I will repurchase them. Apart from that, whatever I said in today's video is my complete honest opinion and genuine experience with all the products. And if you want to buy them, I'll leave the links in the description box down below. And stay tuned for more such amazing videos. Because if you like this video, give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below any video request that you may have. I'll definitely look on to it. Please do subscribe to my channel. With that, I'll see you in our next video. Until then, bye.